Hello. I want to talk about labels. Labels that we use to describe our dogs. When we're thinking about our dogs, when we're speaking about our dogs, all of those things that we, that we think about and speak about that are labels are actually completely distorted from reality. And they're based on stereotypes and myths and also new devolving trends that I like to call designer labels. When we use labels, we're actually attaching ourselves to a very limited mindset and we are focused on that only and we miss out on everything else. Everything else that can help us reconnect with our dogs, to understand our dog as a species, to then be able to know how to communicate with our dog, how to um, ensure that they have a life that is fulfilling and rewarding from their point of view. And we also just simply miss, it, miss out on reconnecting with our dogs and enjoying being in the moment with them. We also sensitise ourselves to our dogs because when we label them, we're, we're actually setting them up to, to wait for that, the behaviour that they're performing to confirm that label that we have in our head about our dogs. And that's pretty dangerous because the value of that label can become so much greater than that living, breathing, pain-feeling, sentient animal that is supposed to be a part of our family of our human family, our human social group. It's also a very damaging pattern of thinking because it creates judgment, frustration and blame towards dogs. And there are so many different descriptions of labels that I've noticed. And a very common one is a stereotypical label where we might say, oh, my dog is my baby. Well, no, dogs aren't babies. They're species in their own right. I've heard labels like stubborn, uh, hyper, to mean that they're out of control mentally because they're overexcited for a very valid reason. Other things, highly strung or happy head because they're a Staffordshire Terrier. I mean, these sorts of stereotypical labels are completely distorted from reality and not put into any context um, for any situation. Other types of labels that are myths related to the way we describe our dogs with respect to their breed. That's a dangerous breed. That dog is dominant. That, do that breed is an alpha breed. There's also another group of labels that I call designer labels. And these are things like, oh, my dog is, needs to be hypoallergenic or my dog needs to be a non-shedding dog um, or I want my dog to be a companion therapy, emotional support dog. I don't know what that means. And I'm not sure that the human that humans that are saying this um, or saying this designer label actually know what they mean either. Surely what we want for all dogs is for them to be confident, socially well-adjusted, emotionally healthy, um, and able to be confident in any everyday situation as well as situations where they might be meeting new people or new dogs or exposed to things that they might not have been introduced to before. But I'd like to ask those humans who are setting up such a huge responsibility and attaching such a huge responsibility to, to a dog in having to fulfil this requirement, what if your dog or the puppy that you were getting, that you wanted to become a companion therapy, emotional support dog, what if they were an introvert? They had an introverted personality. What if they weren't suited to that sort of lifestyle? What if they had a fear of meeting new people or new dogs or they actually had a sensitivity to, to different noises? So what happens then when your dog doesn't fit into your designer label? The easiest way to feel emotional support is to just simply be with your dog. Spend some time with your dog. Just look at your dog. Take time to look at your dog and just enjoy watching them doing their thing, just sitting quietly with your dog. And they will provide you with all the emotional support that you'll ever need. Another way that you can feel emotionally supported 
is to simply be of service to another. Be of service to your dog. Do something nice for your dog instead of expecting your dog to constantly fulfil your requirements. Mm -hmm.